everyone. My name is Yixin Fan from Institute of Computing Technology, Chinese Academy of Sciences. I will present our work, a linguistic study on relevance modeling in information retrieval. This is a joint work with Jia Fengguo, Xin Yuma, Ru Qingzhang, Yan Yannan, and Xue Qichen. As we all know, information retrieval has already become a daily, a daily activity for us to obtain knowledge. The core of information retrieval systems is to model the relevance relationship between users' information need and the documents from worldwide knowledge. Here, we focus on the text-based ranking tasks as it is the most widely used search system. Formally, given a piece of text, such as keywords, questions, or utterance, the search system aims to rank text according to the relevance score. As we can see in the formula, given an information need, SI, and its corresponding document, TIJ, and the label, we aim to minimize the predefined loss function to learn the relevance model F. There are many text-based ritual tasks, and we take three representative ritual tasks for the relevance analysis. Firstly, search engines such as Google, Yandex, and Baidu return a list of ranked documents relevant to the query as a result. Secondly, QA systems such as Quora and Stack Overflow often return the top-ranked answer from existing answer repository, which is relevant to users' information need as a result. And finally, dialogue systems, which has been widely in implemented in modern virtual assistants, such as Google Now, Apple Siri, they rely on response retrieval to select a proper response from a dialogue repository against an input utterance. Well, all these three types of text-based retrieval share the same formula to model the relevance relationship between a pair of text. However, the inherent definitions are quite different due to the heterogeneity of each task. Firstly, for document retrieval, the queries are often short keywords, and they often have unclear intent. The documents are always well-structured long documents, and contain thousands or more words. Thus, they are heterogeneous pairs in terms of the length. This heterogeneity leads to the typical vocabulary mismatch problem of the document retrieval. Secondly, for answer retrieval, the questions are natural language sentences which have a clearer intent, and the answers are, all, are also well-formulated sentences or passages. Compared to the document retrieval, the answer retrieval is more homogeneous, since the questions and answers are both short text spans. They have more concentrated topics. The relevance modeling requires the answer not only be topically related to, but also correctly address the question. Finally, the response retrieval are also homogeneous in the form, as both the utterance and the response are often short sentences. Moreover, the response retrieval often has a context accomplished with each utterance, and the relevance in response retrieval often has broader definition in terms of semantic correspondence, and it is critical to avoid general retrieval response. So, we can see that different text-based retrieval tasks show distinct requirements in terms of the relevance modeling. This raises a question to us. Does relevance modeling in different retrieval tasks really show differences? To answer this question, we propose to use the probing analysis to study the characteristics of each retrieval task and compare them. Spe specifically, we take a unified retrieval model for all these three retrieval tasks and learn it on each task. Then, we probe the learned retrieval model to compare the focuses between different relevance modeling tasks. In probing experiments, we take three representative datasets for each retrieval task, namely the robust 2004 dataset, MS Marco Pesty retrieval dataset, and Ubuntu conversational dataset, and we take the bed based but based as the, united, as the unified retrieval model, since it has been proved to be effective in all these three datasets. Moreover, 
It is easy to integrate with different probing tasks. And for experiments, we firstly test the bed width on each dataset, and then fine-tune it on each dataset to learn the relevant modeling requirements. We take 16 natural language understanding tasks as the probing task, which can be categorized into three groups, including lexical tasks, syntactical tasks, and semantic tasks. The right table shows the detailed statistics of each probing task. For more detailed description of each probing task, you can check it on our paper. OK, uh, let's look at the probing results. Here, we show the performance of the retrieval model on each retrieval task. Since the probing on the board can be conducted on each layer, we just show all layer performances of the board before and after phantom. The blue line shows the performance of original bird, and the orange line shows the performance of fine-tuned bird. From the results, we can see that the bird has already achieved good performances on all three ritual tasks, and the fine-tuned bird can significantly improve the performances on all ritual tasks. And finally, we can see that higher layers achieve the better performance than lower layers, and the last layer always performs the best. Then, we show the main results of each probing task on all three retrieval datasets. Firstly, for document retrieval, we can see that it paid more attention on the semantic tasks than the lexical and syntactic tasks, since the almost, lex all, almost all lexical tasks and syntactic tasks have dropped performances. Moreover, relevant modeling in document retrieval requires better understanding of the semantic meaning of a word pair. As we can see, the top two ranked tasks are polysemy and synonymy. And for answer retrieval, we found that 11 out of 16 probing tasks have been improved. This shows that the relevance modeling in answer retrieval is more difficult, since it requires more comprehensive language understanding. Moreover, we can see that the fine-tuned bird improves all syntactic level tasks, demonstrating that syntactic features are more important. And for response retrieval, we can see that 12 out of 16 probing tasks have dropped performances on the fine-tuned bird. This may be that most linguistic properties encoded in an original bird had already been sufi be sufficient for response retrieval. And moreover, the fine-tuned bird improves synonym while decreases polysemy significantly. This demonstrates response retrieval into to better understand similar words in different contexts than to distinguish the same words in different contexts. And finally, looking at each probing task, we find that on keyword and coreference arc prediction, only document retrieval has improved the performance and uh, for NER, only answer retrieval improves the performance. This shows that the relevance modeling in document retrieval pays more, sim pays more attention to similar keywords, while answer retrieval pays more attention on identifying targeted entities. For the word scramble tasks, the answer retrieval and response retrieval both improve the performances, which indicates that answer retrieval and response retrieval care more about sentence structure than the document retrieval. And finally, we find that the synonyms have been improved by all three retrieval tasks. Thus, it is of great importance to capture synonyms in all relevance modeling. And then, we further study the performance gap of each probing task on the left and right side input. Since relevance models typically take a pair of texts as input, the results are shown in the figure, where the blue bar represents the results of the left side input, for example, queries, or questions, or utterance. As we can see, for document retrieval, the left side, right, the left side input and the right side input show very similar trend on all lexical and syntactical probing tasks. And for answer retrieval, the left side input and the right side input show very different preference on most probing tasks. 
we can see that there are six probing tasks where the performance on the left and the right side show railway strength. And for response retrieval, on almost all probing tasks, the left side and the right side input show similar trend. And in this way, we can study the inherent heterogeneity according to the number of tasks where the left side input and the right side input show railway trends. From the figure, we can conclude that the answer retrieval is the most heterogeneous since it has six probing tasks which had railway strength, and the document retrieval had three tasks, and the response retrieval had two tasks. This is an interesting result since the previous works often deemed the document retrieval as the most heterogeneous, and while from the natural language understanding view, the answer retrieval to be the most heterogeneous. Based on the above results, we further study what and how can we enhance the relevance modeling? Here, we take the intervention method to study what some language understanding task could really help to improve the relevance modeling. The core of the intervention method is to take the probing task as the causal factor to interfere the retrieval model and analyze the change of the performances before and after the intervention. We firstly learn the relevance model on each retrieval dataset to obtain the basic results. Then, we take add features of each intervention factor on the same retrieval dataset to interfere the learning process of the relevance model with other factors hold fixed and evaluate the performance. Here, we introduce three different ways to interfere the learning process of the retrieval model. For feature intervention, we take the label of each instance as an additional input to the retrieval model. And for parameter intervention, we firstly learn the retrieval model using the label of each intervention factor as the initial parameter, and then fine-tune it. And for the objective intervention, we jointly learn the intervention factor as well as the retrieval task. Firstly, we compare each intervention method by taking the keyword task as the intervention factor. From the results, we can see that the feature intervention has very little effect on the performances, while the objective intervention has significantly decreased the retrieval performance on all retrieval tasks, while the parameter intervention has gained significant improvement on document retrieval and dropped with a large margin to the on the answer and response retrieval, and which is consistent with previous findings. Thus, this result shows that the parameter intervention is more effective than the other two intervention methods. Then, we take four probing tasks as intervention factor of the parameter intervention, and we can see that the NER and the keyword have significantly improved the performances of the retrieval model in answer and document retrieval, and the Snorian has consistently improved the performance on all relevance models. These results all show that the factors revealed in the probing analysis could really be helpful to the relevance modeling for different retrieval tasks. And finally, I will make a brief conclusion to our work. Firstly, we propose to use the probing method to investigate the relevance modeling and show different modeling focuses. Uh, firstly, the document retrieval focuses more on semantic tasks, and the answer retrieval pay more attention to syntactic and semantic tasks, and the response retrieval has little preference to most of linguistic tasks. And secondly, we introduce three intervention methods to interfere existing retrieval models, and we find that it is able to improve the relevance modeling based on the probing tasks. Okay, uh, that's all. Thanks.